All right. In this example, ladies and gentlemen, here's one important thing that you're going to want to make sure that you write down, Jaden. The main important thing when you guys are doing this is, Brianna. Yes. <laughs> so when you guys are, when we're solving a square root, we need to understand what is the inverse operations of square roots and, and roots. Now, the inverse operation, if you guys remember, inverse operation of addition is subtraction. subtraction. The inverse operation of division is multiplication, multiplication like right? So when we're looking at um, the inverse operation of squaring is going to be the square. square root. And the inverse operation of the square root is going to be to square. Now, before we can apply our inverse operations for the square root, we have to make sure we isolate the square root. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this subtracting 2 because it's not under the radical. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. x plus 2 equals 2. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is now I can undo square roots by squaring both sides. Therefore, I get x plus 2 equals 4. And now, go ahead and solve. Is that what you said, Jackie, you have the answer? Is the answer correct? Yeah. Well, what I meant by that was not was your answer the same as mine, but is your answer, does your answer work? Because when we're solving square roots, we always want to make sure we take our answer and plug it back in to make sure it works. 2 plus 2 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Minus 2 is 0. So therefore, this answer works. However, I am going to show you a problem where your answers are not always going to work. So it's very important to check your answers. OK, Colin?